Hey guys, today we're going to take a close look at the Deplance Apocalypse AAB 1000.2D Competition Amplifier. <laughs> if you're in the game and you want to put a whole lot of power on some speakers, especially with a two channel, multiple channel setup, you want to have that loud stunt wall. You want to have those doors that blast across the parking lot. You want to drop the hammer and really project some sound. You're going to need power. That's where these guys come in. So let's take a look on the inside and see what comes in the box. I think we're going to be impressed. This is a powerful beast of a two-channel amplifier, let me tell you. Now, in case you guys are wondering, this is the exact same size and same extrusion and pattern as the 7800.1. So it will look perfect sitting beside that amplifier. Excellent combination. It almost be a seamless setup. Very, very nice. Very elegant. Just like everything that comes from this company. Alfred Audio, Jeff Bonds, Apocalypse. These guys do it big all over the world. And uh, if you're wanting high power competition grade, serious amplifier, then the Death Bonds Apocalypse series is where you want to be. I do always appreciate a good unboxing. Here's your warranty card. Standard issue. In the box I received, Deathbots stickers. Got Allen keys and mounting screws, in case you want to be able to mount the thing down. And An owner's manual inside. So, showing some configurations, how you potentially wire it. We're guys, most of us. Guys understand pictures. We don't need words. Just give us pictures. We don't even need pictures. I mean, most people. I don't even care about anything in this box except for Andy. But somebody out there is going to want to know about something. So I included a few seconds of me showing you what this is about. And by the way, this does come with a base knob. I just don't have it in. I pulled it out for another use. It comes with a telephone style base knob. Yeah, I don't know where it is right now, but it does have one. So if you're wanting to use this for subwoofers, you can. It does come with one. Now, on the signal end, got a left and a right input. Pretty basic affair. And then we've got, let me make sure I'm reading this properly. We've got a high pass and a low pass filter. You got your gain knob and a bass boost level. And you got your remote and you got two sets of speaker outs. In this case, it actually is two channels. You've got a left and a right channel. It's not just two sets of speaker outs, but two separate channels. On the other side, very simple. 12 volt remote and ground. And they want to make sure you have a very big remote wire. <laughs> you never know. It's a bit oversized, but it does the job, right? And I believe... Let me uh, confirm. So this is an alt gauge uh, plug. And it will not fit in there, as you can see. Okay, this is some really fuzzy four gauge wire. And as you can see, that will easily fit. I think this is actually two gauge. No, this is four. Uh, this is 4 gauge. 
Yeah, that's four gauge. Okay. So there's some fuzzy, fuzzy four gauge. It'll go in there. You could probably get something a little bigger in there, but the point is you really don't need it uh, for a thousand watt amplifier. Now the Apocalypse Series Class D is one ohm stable and a two channel amplifier. Its RMS power ratings are at four ohms, 300 watts by two. At two ohms, 525 watts by two. Now bridged at four ohms, its total output power is 1000 watts. It does have an LED power and protect light has a wired base level remote control, which is included, not in my unpackaging because I don't have it with the package. I'm an idiot. It has speaker level high gain or speaker level inputs. It has one pair of preamp outputs, sensitivity of 0.5 to 8 volts, frequency response range of 15 hertz to 20,000 hertz, total harmonic distortion of less than 1%, signal noise ratio of 105 dB, variable high pass filter is 15 Hz to 1000 Hz, the variable low pass filter is 50 Hz to 10,000 Hz, the variable bass boost up to 12 dB, a 4 gauge, uh, 4 gauge wiring kit is recommended for the installation. It is 9.72 inches long by 8.46 inches wide by 2.89 inches high. So if you guys want to hit the lanes and be loud and proud, blasting the music across the parking lot, rocking out like the pros do, this is what you want to pick up. Two, three of these guys can handle all the channels of your amplification, a nice DSP to send the right signals to everything, and you're rock solid. If you guys found this information helpful, please hit that subscribe button down below. That means everything to me. And be sure and hit me up in the comments if you got any questions or any input you would like to add to my information. Thanks, guys. Peace.